five, four, three, two, one. This is our very first thrust vector control rocket with a height of 412 millimeters and a diameter of 85 millimeters. Inside, you can find our flight computer along with a slightly modified version of a thrust vector control mount designed by K9 Rocket Technologies. We designed this flight computer back in May specifically for thrust vector control rockets. You can find all the details on our website linked down in the description. Inspired by Orion Aerospace, we integrated four carbon fiber rods for support. With lots of help from Delta Space Systems, we were able to implement a quaternion-based orientation scheme. Along with that, we added a Kalman filter to several sensors to filter out sensor data and added a PID loop for our control algorithm. Armed with our flight software, the rocket, and PID gains from a simulation, we headed out to the backyard to perform a static fire. Due to a misalignment on the x-axis, the rocket tilted to the left and held its position there during the later half of the static fire. However, on the y-axis, the rocket seemed to be able to hold its position pretty well. Like mentioned before, we believe there was a misalignment in the x-axis thrust vector control mount. There was a lot of data and things we learned from this static fire, and you can find all of those details linked down in our blog in the description. So obviously that flight didn't go as planned, but we did learn a lot from this flight and we plan to make so many changes for our next few flights that we have coming up. There's a full flight analysis linked down in our blog, down in the description if you guys want to check that out. There's a lot of data and a lot of explanation as to what happened there. So make sure you guys check that out. But thank you guys so much for watching and other than that, have a great day.